doctor. For the doctors out there, did you always want to be a doctor? Did you always know that you're gonna end up as a doctor? Do you have any doctors in your family? Hi everyone, welcome to Making Healthy Choices with Dr. L. If you're new here, hi, I'm Dr. L. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome, welcome. Welcome back. If you are interested in hearing my story as to how it is that I made my way to medicine, stick around and watch this video till the end. So being a doctor is an idea. It sort of came about when I was younger, probably younger than the age of 10. I remember when I'd have friends coming over or I'd go over to their house, we'd play. As we were playing with dolls and stuff, I would pretend that I was the, they would bring their babies, which are the dolls, to me and I would treat them. So I was a pediatrician of sorts. Um, however, the idea of actually going to medical school came about when I was in either my third year of high school or my fourth year of high school, which was my final year. We had a life orientation class, which I believe was maybe once a week. And during the sessions, we would meet um, with the instructor, AKA teacher, who would, you know, help us, you know, work on our CVs and help us build our CVs and how to write a CV, how to, you know, uh, apply to universities, etc. So as part of sort of that series, we were required to spend a week with somebody in a career that we're interested in. So I reached out to an, my aunt, who is a dietitian, and at the time she worked in at Nyanga Referral Hospital, which is in Francistown, Botswana. That's where I grew up. So I reached out to her. And so she connected me with the hospital superintendent. He had me rotate through obstetrics and gynecology for a couple of days, uh, pediatrics for a couple of days, and I think internal medicine for a couple of days. And that sort of, that week gave me a glimpse into what my day would look like uh, if it is that I became a doctor and ended up working in Botswana. And he invited me to meetings as well. They had meetings regarding like admin stuff in the hospital. They had clinical meetings as well. So that week solidified my idea of going to medical school. But I should say at the time, I believe I was like 16, 17 when I did this. And I was still considering engineering as an option. Mining engineering in particular, considering combining mining engineering with an MBA. However, just like any 16, 17 year old, I was not 100% sure that it, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. So when I was done with my, uh, with high school or O levels or IGCSE, I wasn't sure if what I would do next. So thankfully I got a scholarship to do my A-levels at the high school. I did my GCSEs and I had two years to buy time, two years to do basic sciences, to do biology, physics, chemistry. I did English and mathematics as well. So that those two years bought me time to try and figure out what it is that I really wanted to do. At the end of 2007, beginning of 2008, once I got my A-level results, I had kind of, you know, solidified the idea that, you know, I want to go into medicine. And so I reached out to the Department of Tertiary Education Financing, DTEF, and they walked me through the process. There was an interview process in order to get a scholarship. I went through the interview process, I passed, and I received a document that basically stated that I had the option to apply to three medical schools one was in New Zealand. So at the time that I was going through this was in 2008. I would not start school until January of 2009. So I figured that is not an option. There's no way that I'm going to spend another year 
um, in Francistown. Most of my, at this point, I was, it was two years out of high school. And most of the people that I went to high school with were off in university, living their best life. And I was just like, I ain't doing this no more. <laughs> and I had to, I felt like it was time to go. So it was time for me to leave home. Um, I felt like a young adult, you know, I could do this life thing. And so, yeah, um, New Zealand was out of the question. So the two other options were Jamaica, um, which is University of the West Indies, Mona campus, or St. George's University. So I applied to both of them. I got accepted to both. And I ended up going to St. George's University in uh, the West Indies on an island called Grenada. Beautiful, beautiful island called Grenada. Loved it. I am glad I made the decision to go to St. George's. Yes, yes, yes. So when I arrived at St. George's University, I did a year of pre-med. I was accepted into the MD program, but after the first semester, I applied to also do the MPH or the Master of Public Health. And I was accepted and did a dual degree, MD and PH. I spent two and a half years on the island of Grenada. And um, once I completed the basic medical sciences, I could go off and do clinical rotations and at St. George's University they offered the option to do rotations in England or in the US or you could do rotations in both countries. So I went to England and uh, I spent two years there doing clinical rotations in different parts of England and then once I completed medical school I went home. Anyway, that's how I kind of got into medicine. So now, why did I choose to do medicine? I would say I chose medicine, one, because I had a good mentor who sort of held my hand and sort of explained, you know, what being a doctor is, what, it, what going to medical school entails, how long the process is going to be, and the fact that it's not gonna be easy. Having just that person who I can send an email to and say, this is where I am in the process. This is what I'm dealing with. And, you know, could you weigh in? You know, what advice do you have? And I feel like having that mentor has made a huge difference. Secondly, I chose medicine because I felt it would be challenging. I thought medicine would be intellectually stimulating. I am somebody who gets bored easily and I felt like I need a career that allows me to be a lifelong learner. For the doctors out there, did you always want to be a doctor? Did you always know that you're going to end up as a doctor? Do you have any doctors in your family? If you do, comment down below. Share a little bit of how it is that you ended up in medicine. What prompted you to, join, to go into medicine? And if you're in specialty training, please do share what made you pick that particular specialty and which part of the world are you doing your specialty training? Thank you.